the dingo and the stunt kite. As man's reach ever expands into the outlying wilderness, animals must either adapt to his presence or perish. One such animal which is adapting quite nicely is the wild dingo. Here on the shores of Western Australia, we find a quite unlikely and extraordinary relationship between the wild dingo and man. It was quite a windy day, quite a good gusty for flying, and out of nowhere comes this little yellow dingo tearing out of the bush. Well, I says he must be running from some big gamey, but now he come after my stunty kite he did. This unique and a beautiful wild dingo has taken a liking to chasing stunty kites. As the stunty kite takes flight, the wild dingo gives chase, following it to the ground each time it dives. Even though the wild dingo has no known flying prey, behavioral biologists believe the dingo's propensity for chasing flying objects stems from following vulture swarms. The wild dingo is quite adapted for chasing prey. It can run for great lengths with great strength. Oh, I think he must know the sound of my rover, because right as soon as I pull into the parky, there he sits right there waiting for the stunty to go up. I think I might give him a celly so he can call me when the good gusty's coming. <laughs> First time he took it down, I was in horror. Thought he was going to tear it to bits and have it take away. But it's no worries, mate. The dingo don't like the taste of the fabric. <laughs> If you can see here, I'm bringing over to here, it's called the stalling zone, where the gusty is not so strong. Kite comes down here, dingo comes over here, thinks it's coming down, but it don't come down, bring it back up, dingo comes around. It's a little fun, fun time thing to do. In these dangerous times, wild animals must forge relationships with man. And in a world where the wild dingo is famed for stealing away infant children, this young dingo has made a wise choice. <laughs>